Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Today we're going to call this the Don't Be Stupid video. And these are situations that I run into almost daily. And people are scammed or confused or just misled by various things we see here. And I just wanted to dispel a couple of these myths in our, I guess we could call this the Mythbuster edition. All right, number one, Microsoft will never call you to tell you that there's a virus on your computer. Do you know how many people use Windows? There's millions, perhaps billions of people who use Microsoft Windows. And for them to actually physically pick up the phone and tell every one of those billion people that you have a virus on your computer is just utterly ridiculous. Think about it now. What happens is there's some kind of offshore company. I think they're in India. They could be in China. Who knows? And uh, what they do is they call you and they ask you for permission to remote control your computer which is danger zone number one, warning, warning, never let anybody you don't know inside your computer. And they will get inside your computer and they'll pull up your event logs and tell you that each one of those things in your event log is a problem or worse, a virus. It's something that needs immediate attention. And then they'll try to scam several hundred dollars out of you for some kind of one-year bogus service contract. Actually, we bought one on a whim just to see what they would do. Uh, went through the entire process and... Uh, we tried to call them a second time for a follow-up, and we could never get anybody on the phone. So it is a sham. It's nothing you need to worry about. If Microsoft is on the phone, immediately hang up. Number two. <laughs> this one's silly. We've had several people actually fall for this. The FBI, if they have a problem with something you're doing on your computer, they're not going to slap a silly warning page and ask you to go to 7-Eleven and get a money order for $200 to let you off the hook. That's not how it works. If you have a problem with the FBI and you're doing something that's a federal offense, chances are there's going to be several large men in big black jumpsuits with guns banging on your door at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night, pulling you out in handcuffs. They're not going to slap some kind of warning on your computer. So if you ever see that FBI thing on your computer, it's a virus. Where do you get it from? No, you're not necessarily going to the wrong places on the Internet. Some innocent websites and some web searches will lead you to rogue websites that have this code embedded in the background. And I'll tell you how to avoid that in a minute. Number three, television commercials at three o'clock in the morning showing crapware like speed up my computer or super clean my PC will not remove viruses and spyware. They will not make your computer faster or more efficient. If anything, it's another process, so you know what that's going to do. That's actually going to slow your computer down. It's actually going to make your computer slower. So avoid that crap where you see on television. There's a lot of very good free alternatives you can find on our website at computercareclinic.com. But avoid the stuff you see on the television commercials. They're paying money on there to try to trick you into buying that stuff, so that should be your warning right there. Stay away from the, the television infomercials. And finally, when those little pop-ups show up on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, telling you that there's an important update for the following five things. You definitely want to do these. Don't ignore them like so many people do, um, because they are critical security patches that patch several security flaws, and those updates are very important. Number one, Java. You may have heard in the news about the Java exploit a few weeks ago, a few months ago, and um, it's important to keep that up to date. Now, Java, run by Oracle now, will issue an update on the average. It looks like every couple of weeks now. You'll see it pop up and say, a new Java update is available. You'll see it in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And definitely do that update if you see that for Java. Number two, Adobe Flash. There's also security problems with Adobe's Flash Player. It's another place where viruses and malware can come in. So make sure when you see that Adobe Flash update come up, it should be set automatically in the later versions, but definitely do that update. Number three, Adobe Acrobat is an important one to keep updated. And that's another one by the same company, Adobe, who makes Flash. And that's their Acrobat Reader that lets you read PDF documents like contracts or um, all kinds of stuff people will email you, stuff you need to print out and sign. So Adobe Acrobat, you definitely want to keep updated. And number four, your antivirus or anti-malware protection. Most of those will update automatically in terms of their definitions. But as far as the programs go, if there's a new edition of the program, 
it may require your permission to install that update. So make sure you go ahead and allow that whenever your antivirus, anti-malware program notifies you that there's a program update. And finally, Windows. If you're using Windows, either XP, Vista 7 or 8, if there are updates available and it lets you know, go ahead and let them do them. Most of them are set automatically, it will happen in the middle of the night, so you may wake up and find your computer's been rebooted. But if you turn that off inadvertently or on purpose, if you find that uh, reboot annoying, make sure you do those updates manually and you should be able to find a Windows update icon somewhere on your computer. So that's it, the Don't Be Silly video. My name is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN, and that's Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.